Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel and today we are learning Nin Hydrin method or fingerprint development. So we can develop latent fingerprint with the help of Nin Hydrin. So last lectures we had different methods for fingerprint develop. Today's method is the Nin Hydrin method and this method we can enhance our fingerprint develop and enhance our Nin Hydrin method or method of fingerprint development. Fingerprint development. Okay, fingerprint development. So, we fingerprint ko develop kyu karte hain? Kyunki wo fingerprint kaisi hai? Latent fingerprint hai, jo ki normally visible nahi hoti hai. Thik hai? Then hydrin method ke through hum fingerprint develop kar sakte hain. Kya kya characteristic features hain in hydrin method ke? So, in hydrin method usually usually used to, de to develop latent fingerprints on porous surface. So important information kya hai pe? We can develop latent fingerprints with the help of nin hydrin on porous surfaces. Porous surfaces can say like paper, paper like cardboard, like cardboard and wood. Okay, so processed wood or uh, non-processed wood, unfinished wood, ye sare woods और कार्डबोर्ड एंड पेपर में स्मॉल पोर्स होते हैं सो so, जो जो भी सरफेस स्मॉल पोर्स बियर करता है उसे हम कहते हैं पोरस सरफेस सो पोरस सरफेस पे जब भी कोई भी फिंगरप्रिंट डिपॉजिट होता है तो जो फिंगरप्रिंट रेसिड्यू होता है उसमें चांसेस होते हैं कि वो अब्सॉर्ब हो जाए है ना एंड उसके अब्सॉर्ब होने की वजह से ही हम पाउडर मेथड्स के थ्रू इसे डेवलप नहीं कर सकते इसलिए हमें नन हाइड्रेन मेथड यूज करने की जरूरत होती है that's why we need nin hydrin method to develop fingerprint because your porous surface will absorb the fingerprint residues. Okay, so your nin hydrin will react with amino acids, with amino acids in respiration. So amino acid present in your fingerprint residue will react to nin hydrin and thus print residue giving a bluish purple print and it will turn into bluish purple in color. Your fingerprint residue, basically your amino acids present in your fingerprint residue. So amino acid, amino acids plus, plus your ninhydrin gives, gives bluish purple print. Bluish pur purple print. So it, it, it makes bluish purple visible print when we use ninhydrin method and your ninhydrin will react to amino acids present in your fingerprint residue okay so we can develop fingerprint in papers okay in paper see here we can develop fingerprint on paper so it is a fingerprint developed in a check okay so papers cardboards all the porous surfaces are there on which we can develop and enhance fingerprint and what are the important steps and what is the procedure to perform an inhydrin method? So first step is to fill a spray bottle with an inhydrin solution. So, can, so we can fill, an, fill a spray bottle like this with an inhydrin solution and spray the surface the latent print is on. So whatever suspected print you have, you have to spray an inhydrin solution. Spray from a distance of approximately 6 inches. So you have to spray the a solution from six inches away from your object second step is to allow the solution to evaporate we will wait till the solution is evaporated and then we have to repeat the spraying okay third step after spraying the surface may shortly be heated with an infrared lamp so we can use infrared lamp to heat the surface or steam iron we can even use steam iron in order to do this then hydrogen must be completely dry so before applying heat, you have to make sure that your nin hydrin is completely dry. Care must be taken not to overheat. Do not touch the heat, heated surface to the object. This step will accelerate the print development. So this ap uh, application of heat will accelerate the print development. You can also put your paper on sunlight. Sunlight also helps to develop the fingerprint faster. Next step is if desired, step 3 may be omitted and specimen may be left on the room temperature. So we can even left that specimen on the room temperature if we do not want to apply infrared lamp, if we do not want to apply heat until the print is developed. So we have to keep our specimen in the room temperature until the print is developed. 
doing this instead often yield more satisfactory results so without applying any heat external heat when we wait for the uh, development of print it will give the more uh, satisfactory result it gives more good results than the application of infrared light and heat when this reaction is complete the developed fingerprint and developed latent prints will appear on the surface of the item as shown in the previous slide so here it looks something like this like this and like this okay in addition to being sprayed objects may be applied in or painted with an inherent solution for print development as well so we can even apply the inherent solution as it is okay then we have chemical technique so this is your ninhydrin procedure this is again ninhydrin ninhydrin process is really very common process in fingerprint development and enhancement fingerprint development fingerprint development okay so it is really very important ninhydrin method so let's let's finish this video here because in the next lecture we will start the chemical techniques so we are done with physical techniques these these all things are physical it comes under physical techniques physical techniques fine so we have three ways to develop fingerprint first is physical techniques physical physical method okay so after physical method you have chemical method so we are done with physical method we will start chemical chemical method in the next class then we have uv light and different illumination or fluorescent techniques to develop fingerprint okay so i hope then it been method and procedure is all clear i hope you all have a great day and um, yeah you have to follow us on instagram telegram you don't forget to follow us on telegram instagram and don't forget to be a part of our youtube family okay so if you are if you already are a subscriber share it with your friends if you have not subscribed this channel you have to subscribe this app okay so see the latest ups, updates different video lectures and everything so yeah if you have any doubt you can put it out in the comment section have a great day ahead see you in the next lecture bye